I could really relate to Sue Ellen and the Brainosaurus, and not in ways that I would have liked, but also not to any extreme. This is the second segment of the third episode of the third season of Arthur, and it ties in with the first episode very well. Arthur goes crosswire, sees Mr. Ratburn assigning the class um, a project where they have to write a, a report on any animal of their choosing. And in the second episode, second segment, he, he assigns the exact same homework. But this time we get to see what it's like when the brain and Sue Ellen are paired together. And they decide to do their project about dinosaurs. And very quickly we realise that the brain has completely taken over and will not let Sue Ellen help. And we get to see the other characters, you know, saying that brain's the best partner ever and he's great to work with because they like to let him do the work. And there are people like that. But Sue Ellen actually wants to be involved and actually do some work for her project. And the brain won't let her because he wants to get his A+. plus. He doesn't want to let anybody interfere. We do get the sense that he has this strong anxiety that anybody else's ideas are not as good as his. And they will not be able to do the project as well as he can. And of course the important lesson here is that it's all about teamwork. And whether or not the brain will learn this the easy way or the hard way. You have to watch the episode and find out, of course. I won't divulge everything. But I really could relate to the brain in ways where I, I I work well in teams, but I also prefer to do things independently because if it's my grade at stake, when I was at school, of course, um, I, I want to be the one in charge of that. When it's things like class presentations and things, there's always this anxiety that somebody in the group won't pull their weight and it will drag the grade down. Now, of course, that's not the case with Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen was very willing to pull her weight, but the anxieties that brain had, the brain had surrounding that obviously were very real, and I can relate to that. And it's not that I've ever stopped somebody working on a joint project, I want to make that clear, but I do understand the anxieties. But I also understand Sue Ellen's perspective as well, and I think it's really important for especially young children watching it who will have class projects that it's important to work together as a team and even if you feel like the other person won't be as good at it, for example if we had an art project I wouldn't be anywhere near as good at it as anybody else because I'm appalling at drawing, um, there are always jobs that people can do and things that they can do, people have skills that they can utilise. I really like this episode a lot, Sue Ellen and the Brainosaurus has a really great message and it's a really interesting narrative.